Oh, that's what that does. Hello, everybody. Right, thanks for the sub, Bardesian, and the resubscribe, Dare Blaze, and the raid, the Mobile Walrus. I don't know, you could raid with one person. I win! Five dual points. Ooh, is this enough to buy more of my packs? Knife is now a lurker? <gasps> oh no, knife is here? Quick, we can't have any normies in chat. Oh, hey, it's Sato. Wow, perfect timing. I literally just started my stream. <gasps> hey, and it's Leah Azimov. Wait, what's what was that thing? Gyodo gave out. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the the gifted sub, Geo Dude. Two thousand two two hundred. I mean, welcome, welcome. I feel as though I should explain myself. You see, I, the Duologues, am a humble, small YouTuber who makes Yu-Gi-Oh videos occasionally, and I, sometimes I'll stream on Twitch. But I only stream non-competitive decks, unfortunately, in case you were looking for some high-octane virtual world or blue-eyes plays, you probably won't find that here. Instead, what we have is the last warrior from another planet. So you see, this card right here has an effect, where when it's summoned, you destroy all your other monsters, but also it has a floodgate effect, where neither player can summon monsters. So the whole theme about this is just to get out Last Warrior from another planet and hope my opponent can't remove it with the Spell Trap effect. That's why I'm running Forbidden Lands to protect it. Thanks for the bits, Leah Azimov. These aren't competitive? Heck no. We don't do competitive here, we do competitive uh, fun. Leah spamming? Leah can spam as much as she wants. These are the privileges you have when you're a, a VIP. Wow, this is probably better than Voltic Bicorn Mill. Shut up. How dare you insult my Voltic Bicorn Mill. But yeah, it was pretty bad. It was so bad that I, I have it saved so that I can use it when I don't want to play a good deck against someone. <laughs> he said so? I'm special, guys. He said, see? I mean, yeah. There's also the extra privileges, where if I'm a fan of someone else, you can do whatever you want in my chat. VIP spam. Dude loggers. Like, if, if Hardleg came in here and started spamming, I'd be like, that's fine, because Hardleg is... the leg of hards. Which card? Imperial Order? I can't run Imperial Order? What is this tyranny? I feel as though my rights are being oppressed because I can't run Imperial Order in my fusion deck. I don't even know what to replace this with. Like, all my ratios were perfect. I'll throw in like an Ash Blossom, I guess. I'm so upset that I can't run Imperial Order that I'm literally shaking and crying right now. As bad as Voltic Blackhorn was, I still love the creativity that went into the deck and I had a fun time watching you lose. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had, you had fun laughing at me. Mr. Logs, wish me luck with my eye procedure today. Good luck with your eye procedure today, Chase with Haste. Oh, what's your eye procedure? That sounds scary. Oh, also, thanks for the resubscribe, uh, Kill Me D. I won't read that whole name. This is just bait. <laughs> it's my birthday. Hello, birthday. It is I. The dual lag. Oh, wait. It's your birthday, right? Let me, uh... Let me go to the moon. Hello. It is me. Oh wait. I gotta close this. 
And I also need to turn this on. You see, you think I'd have this set up. Let me sing you the birthday song that we sing on the moon. It goes like this. Don't you wish it wasn't your birthday? Because it happens every 27 days. It's a pretty short song, but that's that's how we do it here. This is my culture. 27 days is fast. I know, right? Using controls would be pretty good to search out the snotty 2003 monsters needed. That's why I'm playing three copies of it. <laughs> what song? That's that's the song. You guys are just hypocrites. How'd you get OG on the board? What? I'm surprised he's literally not doing anything. This is somewhat annoying. There, I'm not gonna activate Lord of the Heavenly Prison in order to bait him further. It has to be shorter song because it happens more infrequently. <gasps> They're actually going to send it to the grave? Now you can't attack directly this turn, you idiot. Because it happened. Yeah, it has to be a short song because it's only 27. Oh my god, seriously? You're not going to do anything? Uh, okay, Zombra the Dark it is. Ooh, activate Lord of the Heavenly Prison? Yes, please. Holy crap, he looks so cool. Would you like to activate Super Poly this turn? No. This is a good point. Wait, what? I thought my birthday song on the moon was the Tsunami song? No. You don't deserve the Tsunami song. That Tsunami song is only for... For very special... Oh my god. They were so afraid of Super Poly. <laughs> well, that's, that's one win. And you guys said this deck was bad. For some kind of stream, I've been falling asleep to you for over a year now. <gasps> Why, thank you, Playboy Brody. I hear that a lot. We don't deserve it, guys. You heard it here first. Wait, why don't you guys deserve? What happened? I don't have a, uh, a karaoke redeem like Leah does. You see, Leah is an actual VTuber with these kinds of things. I'm not. I don't sing. On an unrelated note, I did look up a course on uh, Skillshare and how to sing better. I need to make time out of my day in order to look into that. Yet. Yeah, not yet. Lord of Heaven Prison can set Fusion Destiny and control decks, by the way. <gasps> I mean, it can set any spell trap, right? I'm playing lots of anti-back row cards. Ooh, Zombra the Dark. How many Lord of Heavenly Prisons do you recommend to play? I only play one version, all my decks. I'd assume three. Fusion Deployment. I'm going to search out my other little dude directly from the deck. Uh, Makura, because he can actually attack directly. With 900 points of big damage. I'm going to show my opponent that he has nothing to be scared of. Demise of the land? Okay, I'll allow it. I'm not sure what deck he's playing. Mound of the Bound Creator. Oh, he has a 60 card deck. He has a 60 card deck. Well, I don't have any fusion cards yet. I am running a whole bunch of polys. I just haven't drawn into any of them. Metal Reflex Slime. Are you kidding me? Well, whatever. That's fine, too. That's not a big deal. Continue your attack? No, I'll let your 3,000 defense wall sit on the field. But you can then tribute in order to go into the fusion monster. Uh, oh, hey, three months watching the best VTuber. Hey, thanks for the resubscribe, PsychicScape14. Not a VTuber, though. I'm not sure where you get that uh, that that incorrect thing from. The sponsor logs? Oh, yeah, I said Skillshare. 
Well, here's the thing. I use Skillshare. So I'm just... I just talk about it sometimes because it's what I use, you know? So what? Sue me. Oh, this card's so cool. Every time it comes out, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Um, I will set Super Poly, I guess. I can actually go into my, my card. <gasps> Mr. Logs, can you make a video on dual terminal lore? I don't care about dual terminal lore. I was going to make a video and do one on World Legacy. I run any decks with greater slash ultra poly for the Fusion Fest? No, but I want to because that sounds fun. I'm going to do this instead. Attack with 900 big damage. And then... Guardian Slime comes out and I can use Zombra the Dark to destroy it. Because its effect is only a... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a once per turn in order to stop attacks. Oh wait, no, it's going to block out both of my attacks. Never mind, I'm stupid. Ooh, Mound of the Bound Creator activated? Does that mean I... they take... Oh! Oh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison is also under the protection of Mound of the Bound Creator, so he's taking a thousand points of damage. I didn't even think of that. I'm a big old stupid idiot. Okay, I'm gonna use super polymerization now. Discard Fusion Destiny. Go into the last warrior from another planet. <laughs> I wonder if my heavenly prison will be protected. <gasps> he is! Oh, and then he can attack! Oh my god. Heavenly prison? Should I tech in Mound of the Bound Creator? That seems like excellent tech. Use a face cam? Okay, here's the face cam. You better be sorry. Most part people just summoning Mascarina. Oh! <gasps> no, I don't- I didn't have my one protection card. Uh, Ancient Chant in order to search out a card? Okay, that's fine. I have Ice Dragon's Prison. This only makes it so it can't be destroyed or targeted, right? Ice Dragon's Prison doesn't target, but I don't think I can actually use it against the Divine Beast type. Hmm. Another Ice Dragon's Prison. I'll just keep it in hand in case I need it as discard fodder. And attack for now. Battle Fader. Okay, sure, why not? Has activated the effect of a cart. No, that's just going to end the battle phase. There's nothing I can do about it. Just got to wait till the next turn. World Legacy on a whole would be what? What are you guys talking about? You're a VTuber? Shut up. Mr. Logs. If you like Last War, you should build a Cyberstein deck. It can't be used in Fusion Festival because it needs links, though. Mm, maybe some other day. I woke up just to watch you? Why? You should go back to sleep. Unless you want to wake up to watch a boring stream. Is it about to end their turn? No. I'm glad I have all this protection on Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Ooh, another Waking the Dragon. I'm just trying to attack through this last little bit of life points. Do they have anything with more than 3,000 attack? Must either... Must first be fusion summoned or special summoned by tributing... Hmm, I can bring out Egyptian God Slime and attack. I think I'll do that. Oh, I guess I can't. Never mind, I won't be bringing it out. <laughs> Thanks for introducing me to Four Cut Hero. It's fun. You're welcome. Oh, right. I run Egyptian God Slime too. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not sure why I run this card. But I do. And now I have protection from Mound of the Bound Creator. 
Waking the dragon? That's an alternative way in order to bring out the last warrior from another planet. Fork out here on hiatus? Yeah, it's been on hiatus for a while. The author has some really bad uh, health problems. Actual anime protagonists. <gasps> Zafion the Time Lord? Has the same type? I don't think he has any fairy monsters in the grave. Oh no. All my cards. Has activated a battle phase. Do they have any fairies in the grave? Nope. My back row! This is the only card in the game which gets around my crap. Actually, I can just use this in order to steal Guardian Slime and just go into another Egyptian God Slime because I play two for some reason. Not only do I randomly play Egyptian God Slime, but I have two of them. So it's going to return my Waking the Dragons, which is annoying. I've been 62 chapters of Friend of the Funeral. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Isn't it like one of the best modern mangas that have come out? My dude came from your YouTube channel. Hello there, YouTube channel person. Ooh, polymerization. I don't think I can... I can? What the hell can I use this for? I don't think it really matters because I can just go into my Egyptian God Slime. Egyptian God Slime number two. Never thought I'd be going into Egyptian God Slimes multiple times. For my opponent's, uh, <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> oh, I can still use this? I wish they gave me a list of what was available. What the hell can I go into? I, I don't see anything that I can possibly go into. Eldlich, Predator Plant, Triffy over Utum, Fusion Monster plus a Dark Monster. Oh, oh, Dragon Stapelia. That's what it is. Mud Dragon? No, I only have one Dark on the field. But I do have a Fusion Monster and a Dark Monster on the field. One Fusion plus one Dark. Yeah, it is Dragon Stapelia. Hello, Mr. Logs, and hello, chat. I'm a Yu Gi Oh noob. So would appreciate some tips slash help. I mean a lot of the normal deck. Are there any good cards that special summon from the graveyard or probably from tri right? And are there any good cards that summon multiple monsters from the hand at once? Any help would appreciate me, because I'm lost. Oh, there is a card which allows you to special summon a whole bunch of low level monsters from your hand. And it has all the cards from Law of the Normal in its artwork. I don't remember what it's called though. And since it's a trap card, it's not very good. The first sarcophagus? No, that's not what it is. That card's garbage. Last word for another planet win? I went into it like immediately, but my opponent had Frygeki in their hand and made short work of it. I was thinking about making a video going over like best level 2 or lower normal monster support. Uh oh. The Winged Dragon of Raw. It's a lot of slimes, yeah. They're both immune to being destroyed by battle and card effects and being targeted. They're basically invulnerable right now. The Revenge of the Normal? Probably. Time Lords are indestructible. They sure are. And so are his cards. Zombra the Dark? That's not super helpful. Kind of. Dragon Stapelia. One fusion monster plus one dark monster. Quick effect. Target one visit monster opponent controls. Place one predator counter on it. And if it's level two or higher, becomes level one as long as those predator counters negate the activated effects of your opponent's monsters and have predator counters on it. Mmm, can't be targeted under mound, so I can't do that. Um, what about... Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, two dark monsters on the field. Uh, can't target him, so I can't do that. Can't be destroyed. That's off the table. What about Triffy over Utum? 
Uh, if your opponent would special summon, quick effect, negate the summon, and if you do destroy the monster, you can just be attacked by battle. I think we're kind of just in a stalemate here. I don't play spell trap removal in this deck. Uh oh. That's how to say the name, Triffy over Utum? Of course. You can't pronounce any of the Predator Plant monster names, which are incredibly complicated, in which I have to look up guides online on how to say their names correctly. Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there, Light Trek. Spearbow would get rid of your field? Yeah, I guess Spearbow isn't out to my field. He hasn't searched it out, though. I don't think he has a way to search it. Not unless he pops Mound with a Bound Creator. <gasps> He's copied my tech! Another Polymerization. This is useless. Not unless I draw the one other card that allows me to go into the Lost War from another planet. Because my whole field is protected. But if I do that, then he can just uh, attack it with slime, so that wouldn't work either. This card's useless. Yeah, his card has full protection right now. So do mine, though. We're both on the same boat. Do you run Super Poly? I sure do. Would Super Poly work? Oh, it would. I could go into Dragon Stapela using my opponent's card. You can send a Divine Beast monster from your hand to the graveyard, add a Monster Reborn back. You can also use Monster Reborn this turn if you wish. Playing Kaijus? Well... I, I have Super Poly, that's an out, I guess. Forbidden Lands, that would have been good to have a couple of turns ago. Hmm. I guess we're just both waiting. He has no free back row, so he can't use Monster Reborn. No, he can just use Millennium Revelation second effect to send itself to the graveyard. He's not locked. Shame they banned Kaiju Slumber for the event. Did they? Slime Reactor. Special summon two tokens to the field. During the battle phase. I think it has to be on your opponent's battle phase, right? During the battle phase, quick effect, you can tribute this card. Nope. It's just during any battle phase. Hey, boss patrol, you have access to the money spider? Neat. <gasps> Waking the dragon! Yay! I can set this and then do nothing. <laughs> I still can't believe he brought out the Time Lord to shuffle my back row into the deck. The only way to avoid freaking Waking the Dragon's effect. The thing is, if he goes into Monster Reborn, the cart's just gonna die immediately. There's nothing he can really do. Oh! <gasps> This gives me last word from another planet. However, that's kind of useless. I don't need it. Dragon Stapalia. None of these cards can really help. Chimera Flesia. No, Chimera Flesia targets. The battle effect would help, but I can't really go into it. Not unless I go into Dragon Stapalia and then go into Chimera Flesia. But that's assume my opponent doesn't have any like back row stuff. And also I can't destroy his card by battle. Hmm. Could you make a deck with the Amazement Engine? I like those cards a lot, but I've never seen them played. It doesn't matter to me what's played in it, just stick the engine somewhere you think will work. The Amazement Engine? Um, from what I remember of the Amazement, is there kind of like Trap Tricks, but better? Where 
they're fine, but they're reliant on trap cards to do things, and trap cards are just too slow unless they're super strong. Oh! <gasps> there we go! Super poly! Okay, so I can finally get rid of my opponent's card. But in order to do so, I have to get rid of my Lord of the Heavenly Prison. I'm fine with that. I'll ditch one of my polymerizations. Dragon's Stapalia. Target his card, my card. Go into Dragon's Stopalia. Okay. Then I have to use its effect on Reactor Slime so we can't go into another one during the battle phase. Mazements can work in Trap Tricks, but it's pretty weak compared to Dogmatica or DPE. Yeah, I think the reason people don't play them is because, as an engine, they're just not as good as other engines. But they're perfectly fine and acceptable. <gasps> I can finally go into the battle phase. The thing is, if I go into my card, then I lose Dragon Stapalia, and I kind of want him. Let's destroy this card first. He can't use his activated effects on the field. Mirror Force? Uh, should I save Dragon Stapalia? No, I'll let him die. I don't care. I don't need him. Okay, Reactor Slime. Spider VTuber Mini has sent me. Mini? Isn't she streaming a... Uh... Oh, <gasps> FNAF today? Five Nights at the Freddy's? Ooh! Okay, then I can go into the last war of another planet. She is? Yeah, I was in her stream earlier. Okay. Is this gonna go through? Do you have a negate? No negates? <gasps> I can go into another Dragon Stapalia? How about I go into Last War from Another Planet instead? <laughs> Destroy all my cards, except they can't be destroyed. And now my opponent can't summon any monsters! Not even Sphere Mode if he had it! I've won! There's no way you can out the last warrior from another planet. It is a hundred percent unbeatable. When will someone redeem Game of Thrones ASMR? Probably never. Amazing, Mr. Logs, the only person who properly summons last warrior from another planet instead of using Waking the Dragon. I mean, I have Waking the Dragon too. It's just my opponent's not taking the bait. I was expecting Spear Mode. He can't use Spear Mode. Last warrior stops him from summoning monsters. He's completely ham-boned. Regeki? They already used Regeki to get rid of the first one. Add time? Okay, here you go. <gasps> United we stand? What? That's not gonna help. It's only 1300 attack and you can't summon any other cards. <laughs> For those curious, the engine involves three searchers the two X boss monster, any number of amazement traps, although it's usually three of any in the particular. Really? Can I just add amazements to this? Token beatdown? I'll have to look into them. I don't know the amazement effects off the top of my head. There's no way he has another mirror force. Is United We Stand a, a UR? It is. They love to nostalgia bait with these cards. <gasps> Did I actually pull it off? Did Last Warp Another Planet actually help win this game? Legacy pack URs? Yeah, they love to put bad cards in the legacy packs as URs. It's the legacy pack tack. Legacy pack tax. Okay. Thanks for the sub, the Sleeping Steelix. Somehow nice. Let me see. 
Um, oops. Amazement. This is the boss monster, I believe. Why does he have Karibos and scapegoats in his artwork? Say hi to YouTube, guys. No, don't say hi to YouTube. Say goodbye to YouTube. Thanks for the gifted subs, Terabyte79. Or the five gifted subs, I mean. But yeah, bye, YouTube. I'm gonna tell my my editors to not put that up. The Karibo Skase Balloons. Oh man, I all of a sudden have a headache. Um, one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just had to take an ibuprofen. That should help my headache in a half an hour. Thanks for the resub, Turtle Forward Sage. There's a lot of references in there. Okay, let me read this card. Oh, this is a feed card. Once per turn, you can banish any number of attraction traps from your graveyard and then target that many cards your opponent controls and destroy them. Uh-huh, that seems really good. You can use each of the following effects of Amazement Administrator Arlikino once per turn. If a trap card is activated, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Hmm. If you put it normal or special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can target one of those face-up monsters they control. Equip one attraction card from your deck to that target. Okay. What are the attraction cards? Um. Oh. It's actually like an amusement park. A Ferris wheel. A haunted house. A horror house. Family faces. I don't know what this is in reference to. <gasps> A merry-go-round. Ooh, go-karts. I used to work at a go-kart place. And the Viking Vortex. Oh, it's that one thing that goes back and forth. And it also looks like one of the the things from uh, from Plunder Patrol. And these kind of look like FA vehicles. Are there any references in here? I don't see any references in this one. Uh, family faces. I don't see any references except for the Karibo. Six Samurai. Where? And then in this. Oh, there's the Ghost Tricks. And this one, I don't see. Oh, the Ojamas. Hmm. And this one? Uh, I, that kind of looks like Phoenix of Neftis. Or the Drytron references? Nobody likes Drytrons. Okay, so what does this card do? Kaiser Glider? Uh, oh yeah, that's probably better. Target one amazement card you control, or one phase that monster your opponent controls, equip this card to it. You can activate the following effect based on which player controls the equipped monster. You, target one spell trap card your opponent controls, send both it and this card to the graveyard, your opponent, and an amazement monster from your deck to your hand, and if you do, send this card to the graveyard. Okay. That sounds decent. So we can either pop a card, or search a card. Target one amazement monster you control, or one face-up monster your opponent controls, equip this card to it. 
Uh, you can activate the following effect based on which player controls the equipped monster. You, during your main phase, one. No, during your main phase, place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck, then draw a card. Your opponent, switch the current equipped monster's attack and defense until the end of this turn. Okay, those are kind of lame. You, target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effect until the end of the turn. Your opponent, change the equipped monster to face down defense position. This one seems better. This one seems a lot better. This is the best card, isn't it? Because you don't have to send to the graveyard. I'm reading this. Target one effect monster your opponent controls and they get its effect until this turn. So, just once per turn you can negate your opponent's card effects. Yeah, this this seems really good. Like, holy hell, this is probably like the best card in their, their archetype. I was, I was like waiting for the, the catch. I was like, so you just gained spell speed 2 negation with this? Are Amazements new? I've never heard of them. They're new-ish. Horror House is the best? Okay. Tamias, the Eye of Destiny Turbo? One of these days. Um, Target one monster your opponent controls. Equip with an attraction trap card. Equip this card to it. While the card is equipped to a monster, take control of the equipped monster. While you control the equipped monster, it gains 500 attack, and you cannot activate its effects. Also, it's treated as an amazement monster. You can only activate one amazement family faces per turn. Oh, I like that. This one seems fun. It's like Comic Hand. With extra steps. Um, target one amazement monster you control, or one face-up monster your opponent controls, equip this card to it. Based on who controls the monster. You, the equipped monster, gains 500 attack. If it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. Your opponent, the monster, loses 500 attack for each attraction traps equipped to a monster. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so this is an equip one. Target one card in opponent's graveyard. Change the monster's battle position, and if you do, shuffle that target into the deck. Your opponent, increase the equip monster's level by one, and if you do, change his battle position. That's not half bad. The same one, right? You, once per turn, when opponent monster declares an attack, negate the attack, and if you do, change control of the equipped monster until the end of the battle phase. Change control of the equipped monster? So you can negate an attack and then steal the monster for a turn? Your opponent, when the equipped monster activates its effect, return it to the hand. Oh, okay. How are you summon Exterio? Well, with Waking the Dragon. If Waking the Dragon is destroyed, I get to summon any card from extra deck. Thanks for the sub, Antonio Zero. Or Super Poly? Uh, I guess I could summon it. No, he's impossible to summon during the fusion event, normally. Because he has two... Um, to uh, Synchro Monsters as his materials. How many Royals do you have? Like 30. You negate the attack and then give them your monster. That sounds lame. What do the quick plays do? Pay under light points, apply this effect depending on whose turn it is. Your turn, add an amazement card from your deck to your hand. Mm, your opponent's turn, set one attraction trap directly from your deck. It can be activated this turn. Hmm, I mean this seems good. Apparently I have a royal version of it. <laughs> Field spell. Oh, it's like a map of the amazement land. During your main phase, you can activate one attraction trap the turn it was set. During the end phase, you can send one attraction trap you control to the graveyard. Then target one of your attraction traps with a different name that is banished or in your graveyard. Set that card. You can only use each effects once per turn. Huh. So it recurs your resources every turn. That seems pretty good. Special show. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets an amazement monster you control, target one of those amazement monsters you control, return to your hand, then special summon one amazement monster from your hand. Okay, that seems lame. Kamiko is generally pretty good because it's a monster as well as Arlinkio. Yeah, I assume this is the boss monster. I don't even know what the other ones do. Attendant Komikia. 
Um, when this card is normal summoned, you can set an attraction trap directly from your deck. Quick effect. Target one of your attraction traps equipped to a monster. Equip it to one amazement monster you control or one physic monster your opponent controls. You can only use this effect once per turn. Hmm. Can you use both of the effects? So you can like move the cards around in order to activate multiple of, this, of their effects. I guess that's the synergy of that. Wait, is this the same person? They look the same. Are they both on the same artwork somewhere? You can reveal one attraction trap in your hand. Spell to summon this card from your hand. You can send one attraction trap from your hand or face it field to the graveyard. Set an attraction trap directly from your deck to your spell trap card zone. You can use each of these effects once per turn. Typically, you use the ticket to add the boss monster to your hand. When a trap is activated, it summons itself. Then when your opponent summons a monster, you equip that monster with a trap from the deck. With a trap from the deck. Which one do you equip, though? So, fun fact, you can activate the card it takes the effect of what it was currently equipped to. So you can use Horror House and then move it to Kamaki to flip your own Kamaki face down for some reason. Why would you do that? Clip the channel, they're different. Oh! Okay, I think I get what you're saying. She's a machine? Oh, I didn't even notice. This one's a machine too, and he's a psychic. This one's a beast. Amazement Ambassador Bufo. Level 3, of course it is. That way it can be a target for a rescue cat. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one attraction card in your graveyard and one phase that monster your opponent controls. Equip that trap to your opponent. Quick effect, you can target one of your attraction traps equipped to a monster. Equip it to an amazement monster you control or one phase that monster your opponent controls. You can use these effects once per turn. Oh, so it has that same effect. The robots, then he's cute. I'm pretty sure they're both girls, right? These monsters look nice. Buffo these nuts. <laughs> Do you know what the V and VTuber stands for? It stands for V's nuts. Why would you do that? You're playing Amazements. Making fun has no sense. Those are waifu cards. Yeah, I guess. So, what's the combo for this to be a an engine? How do you have so much normal and rare mats? I don't know. To be honest, I don't really buy cards. Best part about Amazement is how the OCG name printed the A upside down. Why? Well, I guess why not, you know? What's the engine? Is there any amazement? Uh, guys, are the Trap Tricks monsters? It's 3x Ticket, 2x Boss, 3x Horror House. I get Horror House, because this one's pretty good. And it's 3 Ticket, and only 2 of the Boss? Really? Huh. Where do I get this from? Oh, he has his own pack. How do I unlock his pack? Happy late birthday to you and early to me. Mine is on Sunday. <gasps> it's your birthday. Thanks for the resubscribe, that one, Furge. Let me give you a, uh, let me give you your, your birthday, your birthday message. It's a me, the duologues, coming at you from the moon. Here's the moon song. Happy birthday from the moon. It happens once every 27 days. Okay. So, let me just remove my traps from this deck. And I'll just replace them all with uh, the amazement stuff. And honestly, it kind of just does what I was doing. This is a nice alternative to what I was already doing. It fits my deck. I'll remove the Kaiju. Fusion Last Warrior Turbo with Amazement. The shiny logs, exactly. Oh, I need to craft one of these. 
Um, should I craft amazing time ticket or yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll craft the ticket. I have like a million SR materials. Not a million. I have 600 of them. <gasps> I get a free opening. The ratios we were talking about were for trap tricks, which is super strict. Oh, well, we'll see how it works here. Okay, let me open up 10 more packs. Aw, oh, no, you are. All I need are two of the dudes. <gasps> Necross cycle? I don't need that. Unless. Unless I'm getting jabated. <sighs> Abyss actor leading lady? I have a question. What should I do tomorrow? What should I stream tomorrow on stream? I have no idea. Pack of any channel. Yeah, Trap Tricks deck is super limited, so you kind of just run the best of the best. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm running the best of the best of the Abyss actors and the amazements. Play MTG? Should I play MTG? Do what your heart desires? Well, what I want to do is not stream. <laughs> If I want to do what I want to do, I would rather just, like, lay down in my bed and just, like, watch anime or browse Twitter or Reddit. Do Game of Thrones ASMR? Okay, so there's some, like, th there's other streamers in chat, right? I know there's Cafe Fico. I don't know if there's any others. Cafe Fico. I'm pretty sure I've been saying that wrong this whole time, but he's never corrected me, so I think I, I, I'm doing okay. Trust your heart. Play Inscription. I have Inscription. Usually on Fridays I play like a new uh, card game, though. Inscription is kind of a card game. Oh, <gasps> Demiurge. Oh, I need that for one of my decks. I don't need that. So, let me show you my, uh, thing. I have... This room. Which is set up for it. Well, tentatively set up. This is my Game of Thrones ASMR room, but I want... I want to add a filter onto it. But I can't get any of the filters to work. So right now it's incredibly basic. Hold on, I usually have... Like, this is set up. I just have, like, a thing over my webcam so you can't see it. So there we go. It's it's not positioned correctly yet. But I want to have a filter over this, but I can't figure it out because all of the websites, all of the videos I watched for the filters, like, use this filter, which doesn't exist anymore. This is where I wish I had connections. Wait, I do have connections. But I don't know if any of them know what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a slightly advanced OBS thing. I don't know if any of the people I know know what I'm talking about. What filter are you trying to go for? Um, I'll have to get examples. I probably would have been better if I had examples immediately. You know? Oh shit. There we go. Um, anyways. Wait, why are you guys just spamming the feed emote? Are the flames projecting shadows? Um. I think so. You see, like. See how my spider's not moving? I want to add a filter to that so that he moves slightly, too. Well, I mean, he can move if I just, you know, have this enabled, but, like, that's not the kind of movement I want. I want to have a, a specific feel for this room, for the ASMR room. 
Also, it's it's too like it's not sized properly. Like I would have this here, and then maybe oops, this down here. No, it would have to be a little bit bigger, so we'd increase the size of both of them by a little bit. But then if we increase it by too much, then we can't see the, the excellent flames. Also, why is this so small? Anyways, that's, that's something for me to do off stream. Why not come down for the ceiling? I don't know. Because that seems difficult to accomplish. Oh wait, let me try this off. There we go. You wait for the press Cronson to become the best custom card reviewer for that. Wait, what? Dulogs. Some have accused you of teleporting every other custom card reviewer to the moon to perish. Is this true? Those are false accusations. I have never once teleported anyone to the moon where I didn't immediately provide them space to breathe. Normal air. So, hey, what's up? I need to uh, ask my uncle who works at Konami for some gems to buy some amazement stuff. It will only take me like two seconds. Um, okay, let me just ring him up. Ring, ring, ring. Yes, I have excellent connections here because on the moon we we are just like littered with 5G's. Uh-huh. Hey, what's up? Can I get some free gems? Oh. I can? The charges were dropped? Insufficient evidence? People were teleported to the moon and died? Well, that wasn't me. Excellent. Okay, thanks for the free gems. Okay, so apparently uh, he's off scot-free. Uh, they dropped it for undisclosed, undisclosed reasons. Now we got some, yeah, the 5G. We got all those satellites in space. Damn it, how much you want to bet I'm still not going to get the card I need. Can you ask your uncle to give me some too? Heck no. That's not how you use your connections. Oh no, this luck. Yeah, this is pretty bad luck. <gasps> what is that? A garbage card? Okay. Arlequino was pretty fun to use in synchro events since you could chain a trap, followed by Nibiru, and then himself ending on the way out of the token. Oh, he can out the token? Oh yeah, because he can pop stuff. Okay, I'm getting nothing but garbage. Vic Viper from Gradius? Is that where he's from? Card opening stream part two? Yeah! <gasps> What's this? Oh, he's garbage. Why is it an SR then? Was that a Guardius card as an SR? Yeah, so it's useless. Are there any decks that summon so many times in your opponent's turn that you could potentially Nibiru during your own turn? Um, Off the top of my head. Like, Tri Brigade bringing out Shirag accomplishes that. With Revolt, yeah. Plunder Patrol does that too? I'm not really 100% sure how Plunder Patrol works. Nobody ever plays it. <laughs> like, I've read the cards, but I've never really seen them in action. Okay, so no you are. So the next one is guaranteed. Christrons? What about Christrons? Not even you ours. Okay. Virtual world shell. Ja ja. Plunder is fun. Can mass change two into acid. 
Oh yeah, I can run mass change too as well. Hmm. No, you are Camp Konami. I know, right? Mm. Konami's probably sabotaged my account because of the mysterious disappearances of their company. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> this is a UR, right? Uh oh, what's the big one? What the hell is this garbage? I refuse to read. Hmm, oh, this card's actually pretty good. Whoa. Why is this trash card a UR? It's not trash. Typical broken Link 1 monster? Yeah, it's another broken Link 1 monster. Oh, heroic Challenger Thousand Blades? That's cool, except I need the boss monster, not this garbage. Will you ever start doing top 5 videos instead of top 5 when it's out of big things to top 10? Nope. I'd rather quit making top 10 videos than go down to top 5s. Top 5s are people who are too lazy to think of 10 topics. <gasps> Yay, I got one! It's not a, a foil though. Okay, I just need one more and then I'm good to go. Oh! <gasps> That's a lot of URs. That's at least four, right? Ooh, Sunny Snitch. I think I already have three of these. Ooh. This is a guaranteed UR. Whoa, Access Code Talker. That's a good card. I already have one, though. Top 10 cards based off Konami properties sounds like a fun, almost all of them are garbage. Oh, that's a good idea. <gasps> what is it? What is it? I don't care about that. Yeah! Another Amazement Administrator Arlecchino. Okay, that's all I needed. I don't need any other cards. I don't need to look at the others. All I needed was a second copy of Arlecchino. Let me look at him anyway. Wild Hope? He kind of looks like uh, Cassidy. Or McCree. Formerly known as McCree. Oh! Third one! Whoa! This is where all my luck was... Uh, was kept. <laughs> Another Cassidy. Cassidy McCree goat it, it's a Cassidy though imagine Metal Gear archetype Senator Armstrong I think Mogu's playing oh my god another Wild Hope I think uh, Mogu's playing Metal Gear right now <clears throat> I was watching her stream for a little bit before I I went live Ooh, I like this card the tarantula a third Alakino. Yeah, I don't need to open up packs anymore. I'm good to go. This is a this is an SR in Duel Links. <gasps> Whoa! It turned into a UR pack. <gasps> Alexander? <gasps> Why Strix? These are both useless. This is actual garbage. I'm gonna go DE these immediately. Whoa! I got my three copies of Amazement Administrator Arlecchino, and I also got a useless DDD card. And did, does anyone unironically play DDDs? I thought it was just a joke. Is that a thing people actually do for fun and not as like punishments? Free dust. 
Why Strix is good though? I mean, sure, but like, does anyone play um, Raid Raptors really? I mean, I use Raid Raptors as like an engine to go into a Crazy Box Turbo. You've acquired new cards that are among the cards you didn't own. Put them in your deck? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? And I only need two amazements? I have three of them, you know. As an engine and time thief, yes. Yeah, that's true. Raid Raptors can be used in Crazy Box Turbo, so they're okay in my book. DDDs, though, completely worthless. I'm pretty sure everybody who plays DDDs is secretly just doing an elaborate ruse. They're like, huh, I'm playing these terrible cards. No one will understand my the machinations that go into my mind because they're an enigma. But there's no room in Trap Tricks for three Arlenios, Archelenios. So three of them is good? Should I play a third one? I can do that. And remove one of my fusion reserves. Three is good? Okay. Catch your opponent off guard. DDD is my main and master duel. You have to be playing it as a joke though, right? Like, I, I don't know when one's really playing DDDs because they like them. It's, it's all just an elaborate ruse. To just like trick their opponent to think they're playing DDDs. Ask Jaden Burr. I don't know who that is. Fusion Festival. Let's go. Last Warrior from Another Planet Turbo with an Amazement Engine. My favorite way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Consulting Spreadsheets. Mmm. So you play Virtual World? Okay, children. Get ready for the bets. What does DDD even stand for? It stands for D's Nuts. <laughs> Love your videos? Why, thank you, dank memes. Got him. I've been playing Pure Invoked for the Fusion event. Literally the nine invoked cards and 31 hand traps and draw spells. Oh, that sounds fun, actually. There's nothing more fun than just playing as little cards as possible, but a million hand traps. It really just goes to show how hand traps are the actual game. And that all the cards you summon in the fields are just there to push for damage while the hand traps actually do the real can't read. Whoa. This is an excellent first hand. I'll use King of the Swamp. Search out Polymerization for my deck. Then I'll set two Waking the Dragons, and I won't use Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Because I want him to destroy my back row. If they open up a Harpy's Feather Duster, I win. It's game over. Come on, Lightning Storm or Harpy's Feather Duster, please. I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. I'll give you 50,000 channel points. I'll call you worthless for free. You don't have to redeem anything. Oh, they don't got it. They don't even have cards that destroy. Predator plant monsters don't destroy back row. My back row is completely safe. This is garbage. I want a refund. Hand traps are so brain dead, you can play an invoke deck with nothing but hand traps and win. Yeah, pretty much. You can play Karibo Beatdown with hand traps and win. People are actually playing Predator Plants? Unfortunately. I mean, I like Predator Plants. I got nothing against them. I'm just disappointed that they don't have any back row removal. Chimera Flegia only removes monsters. Ugh. My back row is completely safe, unfortunately. Let's see if I can go into something else. Dasher, once per turn, you can target one level monster on the field. When this an attack is declared involving this card and opponent's face-up monster, you can activate this effect. Hmm, can I use Polymerization? Nope. I sure as hell cannot. 
Uh, I also can't go into anything because I'm playing three DPEs for some reason. <laughs> and none of them are named cards. Um, I'm trying to think, should I set a monster on the field so I don't die? Nah. I don't care. Family per Pedal Plant extra deck monsters. Me too. And of course, Verte. And Orphea Scorpio. I've got nothing against Predator Plants unless they are a certain Anaconda. Who's who's this certain Anaconda? Predator Practice. Are they going to special summon a Predator Plant monster from their hand and then add a Predator Plant card from their deck to their hand? Except the copy of the card which they summon from their hand to the field? Are Predator Plants like Ancient Warriors where it's a bad archetype with good extra deck monsters? No, they have good main deck monsters too. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's limited on the ban list. Scorpio is my favorite aroma card. Exactly. Predator plants are like this weird... They're kind of like kaijus. Where they have a lot of really good cards that are just better in other archetypes. It's better to play uh, predator plants with other archetypes than it is to play them pure. Same as kaijus. Starving Venom is an honorary Predator Plant. Uh, Starving Venom is a, uh, a Venom support card. You know, for Venom counters. Did you guys know Venom Swamp's effect doesn't work on Starving Venom Fusion Dragon because he's technically a Venom monster? And Venom Swamp only works on non-Venom monsters on the field? <sighs> How do you not have any back row removal? Fusion Destiny? I mean, that works, I guess. I'll use this first. Couldn't even 2k. Send this and this to the grave. Destiny Hero Dragon Phoenix Enforcer. Okay, and then I'll attack this thing right here because he's dangerous. Alrighty then. Wait, does it have a floating effect? There's no reason for having three of them. I don't. I should really add some like other cards to my extra deck that I can make use of King of the Swamp. Are you going to do something? I don't know what this card does. Target one dark dragon or one dark plant monster in your graveyard. Except this card, special summon it. Mmm, whatever. When the Phoenix Enforcer is destroyed. I genuinely don't understand how the Kaijus were designed. They only give advantage on your opponent when playing a pure deck. They should have had some restrictions for the original owners being allowed to use the effects. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of a dumpster fire. Alright. And then during the battle phase, I'll destroy Phoenix Enforcer and Chimera Flegia. Activate Phoenix Enforcer to come back during the next standby phase. Why doesn't he come back during your next standby phase? Why is it just the next standby phase? Chimera Flegia will search out a fusion card from the deck. Searching out Super Polymerization. Ooh, okay. We'll go into Destiny Hero, Dragon, Phoenix, Enforcer. Immediately chaining Super Polymerization to the card. Summon. Not even waiting for the main phase one. <gasps> Super Poly. And then I lose my cards. He's a workaholic. Who's a workaholic? Not me. Hey, Dulong's random question, what kind of decks do you have in MTG? Excellent question. I have um, a Tiamat deck that I play all the time. Phoenix and Sorcerer was the boss monster, one of the most popular antagonists in the GX series. So this is his version of Dragoon or whatever. Wait, there are popular characters in GX? 
You went all in on my deck? Yeah, I didn't draw any of the amazement cards, unfortunately. If I had drawn any of them, that might have gone a little bit differently. Okay, uh, Destiny Hero cards. Yeah, it's going to show me every hero card in the game. I don't want to see that. How do you spell Destiny? Destiny? <laughs> Three Destiny Hero monsters. Destiny Hero Plasma, Dogma, Destiny Hero Fusion Monster, plus a Destiny Hero Monster. Two Destiny Hero Monsters, Destiny Hero Monster, plus a Dark Effect Monster. That one might be the most useful fusion. Break the Destiny. Uh, good enough. It's more of a just in case. You could swap Forbidden Lands for some other traps? No. This deck is already perfect. I would have won if my opponent was just playing a competent deck. That could destroy my back row. The fact that they weren't is why I lost. I love you, dual logs of the dual logs, dual vlogs. Why, thank you. I do my best. No fusion deck has any back row removal? Sure they do. I'm kind of surprised I'm not going against any true Draco, true Draco decks. Like, I was expecting to run against those non-stop. That's what all the back row protection was for. The fact that I haven't ran into a single one yet on stream is kind of astonishing yeah red eyes fusion you're also not in plat anymore no but i'm playing the fusion event where there are no ranks so that doesn't matter dragoon they don't have dragoon dragoon's banned in this game they have dragoon banned but not rongo miniad let that sink in <gasps> oh no red eyes black dragon Is he going to send a Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard in order to inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its original attack? Oh, he's going to send a Red Eyes Black Dragon to inflict 1,200 points of damage to me? <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. Dragoon to one. Dragoon's at zero. In the 35 or so event duels I did, I only fought two True Dracos. I want to fight True Draco. <laughs> Where are all the True Dracos I was promised? On Twitter, everybody said nobody's played anything but True Draco. All I want to do is face off against True Draco, but I haven't seen a single True Draco yet. Ooh, Fusion Destiny. Yay, that means I can go into DPE. So, oh, on Leah's stream today, people were saying something about DPE being a... Uh, an innuendo for something, and I asked them what the innuendo was, and they wouldn't tell me. So, what is the innuendo with DPE? I don't get it. You guys know these things. I know this chat is full of degenerates. Um... What's the innuendo with DPE? You don't know? Innuendo is DP? What's DP? Dragon Punch? I don't get it. You don't know? It's short for Dragon Punch like in Street Fighter? No, it's not. Don't lie to me. How do you not know this? <laughs> if you know, why don't you just say it? These nuts? You guys don't know either? There's no way. You guys are just not telling me for some reason. I don't get you guys sometimes. These nuts keep lying, chat. They're both unbanned in the OCG. No one plays Dragoon. 
<gasps> Quaking Mirror Force. <laughs> That's funny for some reason. Dumb people energy, keep lying chat, message removed by moderator, double penetration. Hi, Mr. Dulogs. I've been watching all your videos. Just wanted to say thank you for the laughs and making my days better. <laughs> and also, wanted to ask what do you think of the Metal Fist worm archetype? The Metaphys Worm Archetype? Is that an Archetype? I thought, wait, are all the Metaphys monsters Worm? I didn't know that. And also, I think they're really annoying because they take forever to do nothing. You've been banned for Twitch TOS? So what, what does it mean? What's DPE? How's my favorite Akiza enjoyer doing tonight? I'm I'm doing fine. I had a headache for a little bit, but I think it's gone now. Dragon Phoenix Enforcer. You guys, I'm just gonna look this up myself. I don't know why I thought to ask you guys. You guys don't know anything. Dual logs, pretty e girl. Psh, I wish. If I was a pretty e girl instead of a giant moon spider, I would be showing my face cam all the time. Instead of only when people force me to use it with a redemption. I don't think it means anything. You guys were all saying like, hey, how do you not know what it is? And now you won't. You guys don't know what it is either. Redeemed? There you go. You get my ugly mug for two seconds. Fuck all you guys! Fuck you all! I hope I fucking go to hell! Yeah, I feel the same way, Pomu. You literally read it out loud? Read what out loud? Dude literally read out double penetration, didn't get it. No, but this is DPE. What does DPE stand for? That's missing. That's only two letters. Where's the third one? I like that sound clip. Yeah, so do I. You want a lance here to get Sky Prison on the field? Uh, I mean, I can just do that during my turn. Ooh, Phoenix Enforcer. Double pen extra. See, it doesn't mean anything, does it? You guys are just making shit up. This one's better. Uh, I can use Forbidden Lance on his card and then bring out Sky Prison or I can do it during my opponent's turn in order to search out a spell trap too during my opponent's turn. So we'll just attack. Ew, that can't be it. It doesn't mean anything, does it? There's no consensus on this. I'll just look it up myself. It's a designated PB eater? I doubt that. Thanks for the bits though, Pika. The Urban Dictionary? Let me look this up on the Urban Dictionary. DPE Urban Dictionary. What? That's what that means? Ew! Gross. Why do I always learn gross stuff from you guys? Yeah, I'm not gonna say that on stream. <laughs> That's nasty. What does it mean? I'm not saying it. That's gross. And none of you guys said that though. None of you guys gave me that in chat. First time's catching stream. <laughs> Look up Yu-Gi-Oh! We told you. No one said that. You guys were all saying other things. 
I'm confused. Can you explain what you just looked up? I looked up what DPE means. Why would we say those things on Twitch? Yeah, I guess that's true. But you guys usually tell me these things, though, when I ask. I'm surprised none of you guys uh, knew the reference. Gatekeeping info for us. You know it. <laughs> Has three definitions in Urban Dictionary and they're all different. I just read the first one. <gasps> no, don't end your turn. I need to use Forbidden Lance on your monster in order to activate Lord of the Heavenly Prisons. Oh, I love this card. Animation, he's so cool. And then I get to set any monster I want from my deck. And I will set a uh, Fusion Reserve, why not? Yeah, and then I'll use this to pop a card too. I'll pop myself, and then this face down one over here, and then I'll use his effect to come back. The animation, this is probably the coolest looking card in the game. Oh my god, I love it. Would you like to activate Dasher? I would like to activate Dasher, actually. Whoa, he has a summon animation too. Is my whole deck summon animations? Whoa. They all have summon animations. What the hell is this? Do you think Lord of Heaven the Prison has some sort of relation to Nibiru? Uh, no, but he does look really cool and big, just like Nibiru. Nibiru is based on a conspiracy theory. I think Lord of Heavenly Prison is just a cool looking dude. Oh, come on. Finally catching the stream. Hello there, I'm Lorlos. Does that activate the amazement card in my hand? It does! Even if the effect is negated, he still comes out. Whoa, another amazement. Ooh, I can go into a fusion summon. I don't know what I can go into, though. <gasps> I can go into Dragon Stapalia? Trifrio Ryutum? Starving Venom Fusion Dragon? Ooh, I can even go into Destiny Hero Danger. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go into Trippy over YouTube. Just because he's funny. He also negates special summons. What if he's brought out properly? Oh, I have a graveyard effect? Ooh, I can use Celestial now. Yeah, that's why I did that. Ooh, I can search out another one. Another administrator. And then I even have Zombra the Dark that I can go into. But I'm not. Because he can't attack directly. No, why did he quit out? I was gaming. You've obtained medals. Thanks for the sub, Yon Kong 808 fusion festival whoa I wasn't able to go into last warrior from another planet unfortunately but I was able to go into everything else in my deck I'm so drunk I'm taking a shot every time mr. logs activates a monster effect this stream I'm gone <laughs> I mean this this deck is all about monster no it's not it's about trap cards kind of I startly farted voting against you and now I'm still losing points <laughs> You need to vote for me. I always win. I'm a professional Yu-Gi-Oh gamer. Play a Neos deck? I will one of these days. I'm pretty sure I've played a Neos deck already. Steinily what? Time to lose points. Why would I... Why would you lose points? I am literally gaming right now. Amazement time ticket. All right, this has a different effect depending on when I use it, huh? Streamer has literally never lost a game? Yeah, I've only ever won, lost like once. Gonna be a click yes, Twitch viewer. Would you really vote against me when I open up with this hand right here? 
Dude, you know, I only play one Lord of the Heavenly Prison, and I think I've drawn into it in every single game, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> Is this like the opposite of a hand of, of a garnet? Usually if I play a garnet, it's always my opening hand, but this one is always Lord of Heavenly Prison. But Lord of Heavenly Prison's actually good. This is, uh, I don't know how to deal with this. Um, well, I don't have any cards to really use, because I want to keep them, so I'll set this and this. I have two cards protected, because Zombra can't attack directly, that's why I'm not using it. And the other two cards I can't summon yet. Hello, sexy chat in the dual log. And the loss was to Dzeef. Your opponent is about to end his or her turn. Activate the effect of a card? Yeah. I'll use this. This triggers both Lord of Heavenly Prison and Administrator, right? Mods won't do predictions. <gasps> Ash Blossom? No! Well, that's fine. I don't really need it. I can call by the grave it, but I don't really need the effect. Like, this is better if I already have polymerization in the graveyard. Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Can I also activate Amazement? Oh, it's only one of them. Set a card? <gasps> yes, I would like to set any card from my deck. Thank you very much. We'll set a Fusion Destiny. Why is this card so broken? Just set any spell trap from your deck. And special summon a 3000 attack beater, and that's after it protected your back row for a full turn. Time for another fusion destiny, fusion deployment. I want polymerization, not fusion deployment. Oh, they have another one? <laughs> What are you going to do versus my Called by the Grave? DPE time. What are you going to do? Activate Solemn Judgment to negate the effect of Called by the Grave? No, they're just going to quit. I want to win by Last Warrior from another planet, not Lord of Heavenly Prison Turbo. I'm sorry, but I just keep winning. How do you beat DPE? The way you defeat DPE is by banishing it from the graveyard. That's really the only way you can do it. Or using something it can't respond to, like Droplet and uh, Dark Ruler no more, and then spinning it with Unicorn. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to get rid of. During your opponent's turn, when your opponent activates a spell card, you contribute this card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy the card, I think I'll use that. <laughs> that is going to be the fastest quit I've ever seen. <laughs> Immediately upon activation. <laughs> he was gone. And return it to the hand. Yeah. The, you have to negate its effect first in order to bounce it. Otherwise, the hard thing about DPE is that he can just come back. You win because you're a VTuber waifu? No, I'm not. That's a new one. Rip the non-believers. Vote yes every time. I mean, you win every time if you vote yes, because I always win. You guys do know I'm a professional Yu-Gi-Oh gamer, right? YouTube clip? That's too short for YouTube clip. I tell my clippers, hey, if, you, if there's a clip that's too short, don't clip it. Unless it's a good clip, then you can clip it. And that's a fact. Should I use Lord of the Heavenly Prison, even though I have Waking the Dragon? Hmm. I could... Yeah, I'll do it. It lets me search a card. Waking the Dragon, Amazement, Forbidden Let's. 
See, Lord of the Heavenly Prison is always in my starting hand. I only play one copy. I can't wait to see people scoop and master do when Branded Fusion gets in. Oh yeah, Branded Fusion's even better. Oh, hit my middle card. Oh, come on. Are you serious? The one person in the world who plays Cosmic Cyclone? <laughs> the only thing Lord of Heavenly Prison doesn't stop. Change the monster to face down defense position. What the hell are they playing? Battle position? Sure, I'll use Amazement Attraction Horror to flip this card face down. Uh, activate the effect of a card? Yeah, I would like to activate the effect of Lord of the Heavenly Prison. I'll put him in face down defense position. I'll never get tired of that animation. It's so cool. And then we'll put a Fusion Destiny face down. How are you going to beat over a 3,000 defense monster? Uh, end is their turn? No. This guy is 3D. <gasps> Polymerization. <clears throat> D tactics. During the standby phase, you can have all hero monsters you control gain 400 attack. Even if this card leaves the field. A level 8 or higher Destiny hero monster. Or Destiny or Dragoon is spelled to summon to your field. You can banish one card from your opponent's hand, field, or graveyard. If this card is special summon is destroyed, you can add a Destiny Hero card from your deck to your... Are they playing the starter deck? Ooh! I can bring out the Amazement! Yay! He's Karibos! Yeah, the loner deck, I mean. <gasps> I can use this effect to flip it face down which destroys the card, puts it in the graveyard so I can use Administrator in order to banish the card in order to get this other back row just in case it's something dangerous. It looked dangerous. Fusion Destiny, they don't play hand traps in the loner deck. So this is basically game over. Necro Fusion. Whoa. Oh, and then I can go into another fusion with my Polymerization. I won't. His face in the top right. What? Oh, right. I forgot to turn that off. Thanks for reminding me. And if I destroy this card, he gets a search. So I think I'm just not going to do that. I got all the gems to the loner. Pretty fun to plasma lock people. To plasma lock people. Oh, yeah. Destiny Hero Plasma. Set Polly. Oh, uh, I can't stop winning with this deck. What the hell? Are the amazements actually kind of cracked? Am I going to have to use them more often? Or is it just Heavenly Prison that's carrying all these games? Or am I just getting really lucky with these uh, opponents? First to go, Lord of Heavenly Prison is cracked. It is. Like, I'm being able to search out any spell card from my deck. Any spell or trap, and I just keep searching out Fusion Destiny. <laughs> it's mostly Lord plus DPE. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the DPE. Uh, don't look at what DPE means. I looked it up earlier, and it was... Uh, Huh. Opponent surrender. They must have not opened very goodly. I mean, I didn't open up a heavenly prison, so that's good for me. <gasps> I almost have the instant fusion, mate. I love instant fusion. It's opening lord and prison. Well, the thing is, I'm not opening DPE in my games. It's just opening lord allows me to search out fusion destiny. The Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Hello, Mr. Longs. How's the deck going? Um, it's going really well. Surprisingly. I love how this is supposed to be Last Warrior Turbo, but I haven't seen Last Warrior. I've brought it out a few times. <gasps> I can't. <laughs> this is Lord of Heavenly Prison Turbo, I swear. Always in my opening hand. Actually rigged. 
<laughs> I only play one copy. What are the chances that I draw it in all of my opening hands? Cyber Dragon Core. Um, add a Cyber Dragon card from your deck to your hand. Are all of these streams pre-recorded? Uh, yes. You know, today is the 5th, you know, May 11th, 2021. How are those, um... Uh, I don't know. The same chances of bricking on Driver. Cyber Emergency, add a card to his hand. They're gonna add, this, ooh, this card right here, Nash Tail. This is one of those cards where if the effect is negated, the lockdown still is applied. Not that it matters. He won't be imprisoned. I'm just waiting for him to go into his uh, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. And then I can flip it face down. Cyber Repair Plant. What are you doing for Friday the 13th? <gasps> You're right, it's Friday the 13th tomorrow. Um, what I'm going to do is whatever I feel like, I don't know. I'm probably going to write a whole bunch of scripts tomorrow and then I'll be too tired to stream. Would Waking the, Jor Waking the Dragon summon Last Warrior? It sure does. Why are you not doing anything other than just bringing out these two Cyber Dragons? Why do you do this to me? You know, he goes into Cyber Dark Dragon. Cyber Feros? Uh-huh. What? End phase? Well, I'll use Amazement Horror. E equip it to this card, I guess. Activate Lord of the Heavenly Prison from the hand so that I can search out any card I want from the deck. Which I'll just use for another Fusion Destiny. Because that's that seems to work very well. Here it is. What are the chances they have a uh, an Ash Blossom in their hand? What a fun board for that, I know, right? <gasps> Super Poly! Am I playing any of the... No, I'm not playing any of the Cyber Dragon Fusions. Oh, that's... That's... That's a disappointment. Okay, Fusion Destiny. We'll go into DPE. Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer. Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, right? Whoa, and now I can also use Super Polymerization. I'll summon Zombria the Dark. Put this into attack position. And in one turn, I can normal summon this card and go into the card I was actually trying to go into. Wait, if I activate this effect, does this proc this? Once the return of a trap card is activated? Oh no, that doesn't... Wait, does this count as activating the effect of a trap card? No, it doesn't. It It's not like an activation of the card. Instead, it's the activation... Oh shit, I did the wrong order. I made a mistake! Okay, it will destroy itself, and then this back row card. Activate Phoenix Enforcer's effects in the graveyard. Main phase two. Nope, that's it. I want to save my Super Poly. So that I can go into the last war from another planet. What are the chances they have Lightning Storm? Zero percent chance. Isn't there a Roid support card that searches Power Bond? A Royd support card? I don't think so. Like the card that searches Power Bond is this one right here. Super Loli? Who's that? Cyber Dark Chimera? <gasps> he special summoned Cyber Dragon from his deck. Oh, Lord of Heavenly Prison's a rock type. Oh, I didn't know. I thought he was a machine. Okay, 
So he's summoning out another Cyber Dragon. Do they have a Cyber Dragon Fusion card? Only Cyber Dark Chimera is the only Power Bond Searcher, I think. Cyber Dark Chimera. There's another Cyber Power Bond Searcher? Well, I mean, this card searches out Power Bond. Uh, when a Fusion Monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add a Power Bond from your deck to your hand. Why are they attacking into Lord of Heavenly Prison? Are they just trying to lose faster? I can see why people stop my attacks. Limiter removal. Dual logs. I bricked hella hard. Oh, hey, it's you, Seta. You're the person I'm dueling against. Quick. If it's really you. Tell me what cards I have in my hand. <gasps> would you like to use Dasher? I would like to use Dasher. No, not yet. Would you like to activate the effect of a card? Yeah, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. I wasn't sniping, I swear. Oh yeah, if you're sniping, did you see this coming? I bet you didn't. Last word from the planet, from another planet. Now it's impossible to come back from this. Activate the effect of Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Yes. I finally got it out. And it even won me the game. If I was sniping, I wouldn't have used this deck. <laughs> It's all good. I'm just kidding. I don't care if you snipe. Thanks for the 200 bits, Yoko. Keep on rigging the duelist. That's right. He's a paid actor. Uh, Seta, the check will be in the mail. Thanks for playing. Oh, no. My mic wasn't muted for that. How embarrassing. Only way we can win is with Last Warrior. That's true. The the super polymerization Last Warrior with my own monsters on the field. It's not sniping. It's Q sniping. Nobody, you guys wouldn't Q snipe against me, would you? <gasps> I didn't open Lord of Heavenly Prison. This is probably a nightmare. I'm not sure what to do about this. Which planet is he the last warrior from? Uh, Jupiter. Because it's inhab inhabitable. Uh oh, is this DPE control? No wait, this is just like normal heroes. Can they even go into DPE? With normal heroes? Oh yeah, Dark Law, I forgot about that. Uh oh, it's a Dark Law. Our boy Heroes continues. The planet is actually called Another. <laughs> is it really? That can't be right. He's from Uranus. Whoa. Is he really? No Dark Law on the Loner? Oh, is this the Loner deck? I thought they did have Dark Law on the Loner deck. Yes, but you have a hard draw, either Fusion Destiny or the Materials. Or you can search out Fusion Destiny with uh, Lord of Heavenly Prison. I bet their hand is bricked, probably. The loner does have Dark Law? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does, because I looked into it. <gasps> He's going to have my life points. What the hell? At least one Destiny or Monster once per turn. If you still control this face-up card during your opponent's next standby phase, after you special summon it this way, half your opponent's life points? Wait, what? You've got to be kidding me. They summon... <laughs> you don't need to have the card in the field to do that. They just wasted their resources. It needs to be on the field. <gasps> you think I can bait him? I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna bait him with waking the dragon. Uh, we'll add the amazement to my hand. I'll set waking the dragon, and then I'll end my turn. So I'll go into the battle phase to scare him. Oh, he's not scared. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Are you going to destroy your Phoenix Enforcer? Yes! Destroy my Waking the Dragon! Do it! Yes, please! I'll bring out Waking the Dragon to go into Last Warrior from another planet in order to prevent monsters from being summoned. Uh, select a monster to special summon. How come Last Warrior doesn't have a summon animation? And now, my opponent can't summon cards! <laughs> Which means Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer doesn't come back! He's stuck in the graveyard! You've been bamboozled! Completely stopped with Last Warrior from another planet! Wow. I can't believe I actually won with the Last Warrior from another planet. And you guys were all like, oh, this is a nice Heavenly Lord Prison DPE Turbo deck you have here. Where's Lord? Where's the Last Warrior from another planet? You don't ever go into Last Warrior from another planet. Why don't you ever do this? See? You won the game. Hi, YouTube. This isn't going on YouTube. I'm going to make sure none of these are on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. No, shut up. Wait, can I go into something? Oh. I think I can go into this card. Destiny Hero plus a Dark Effect Monster. <laughs> I'll just normal summon Zombra the Dark. And then set my Amazement card. I finally drew a bad hand. This was quite the ordeal. It is it has been a long time. Hopefully my opponent's not playing some like super meta deck who can take advantage of this. One of your editors needs to can make a montage every time you say this isn't going on YouTube. Nah, that's too much work. I bet 15k please lose for me. I'm gonna make sure I win just for you. Oh, <gasps> Uh, okay, if they don't do anything, I might be able to go into my card next turn. Fusion Reserves is my search. What is this? Imperial Bower? They're playing the Jack Knight deck? Hmm. I can go into Last Warrior? This card searches it out. To search out the other piece to Zombra the Dark, and I have some protection. I have Forbidden Lance, which protects Zambra. I have Amazement Attraction, which can flip a card face down. It's kind of like a Book of Moon with extra steps. Is it a Slifer card? Yes. A Poker Brick? Oh no. Jack's straight. Joker's straight. I can't interrupt their combo. They're going to bring out a whole bunch of monsters in one turn. They discard one card, and then they special summon a Queen's Knight from the deck, and then they normal summon King's Knight after searching it, which allows them to special summon Jack's Knight from the deck. It's three cards for two. Actually, the poker deck, is that what they call it? Queen's Knight is on the field. And then they search out King's Knight from their deck, which they normal summon with the effect. Which procs its effect since Queen's Knight is on the field in order to search out Jack's Knight from the deck. Yeah, it's Zambra. Okay. Go for it. I'll allow it. All I need to do is just survive this turn and I can win. Do you have Jack's Knight from your deck? You do. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't go for the fusion summon. 
Because if the fusion monster in this archetype is um, is kind of beefy. It has a 3,800 attack. And it also negates spells. But I think it only negates spells that target it specifically. Actually, if it goes into it, I can flip it face down and survive a turn. It's not the worst thing in the world. Two Jack Knights. I can survive two Jack Knight attacks. It is I, Mini Fuel. <gasps> Mini Fuel! Wait, what are you doing here? Don't you have your own stream right now? Aren't you streaming the Five Nights at the Freddy's? Okay. Attack number one. I'll use Amazement Horror in order to flip this card face down. And then I'll activate Horror's effect. Flip the card face down. Then they have Jax Knight's number two, which can attack. Are you going to attack with Jax Knight's number two? Make life meaningful? I glitched and it wasn't about to start over. Wait, what? Oh, oh, you quit playing for the day? Hi, everyone. Don't you not even like horror games? Why were you playing Five Nights at Freddy's? Lower his attack. So that he gets destroyed. The problem is with Zombie the Dark destroys something by battle, he loses 200 attack. However, at 1700 attack, it's still stronger than everything else left on the board. So I needed the exactly two disruptions. With exactly two disruptions, I should be able to go into Last Warrior from another planet now. Opponent is about to end his or her turn. Yes, I'd like to activate the effect of Fusion Reserve. Hopefully they don't have a disruption in their hand. If they do, I'm going to freak it. Oh, come on! <laughs> no! Why? My card, I was so close! Why would you negate that? So many cool people in your chat, duologs. Hi, guys. There's cool people in the chat, is there? Who? Is this the same chat where the number one most used emote is the feet emote? Oh my god, I drew the card anyway. Thank god. This is just as good. Hopefully they don't have a negate for this. <laughs> There's no way they have a negate for polymerization, right? You've got to be kidding me. Solemn judgment? What the f fuck, man? You've got to be kidding me. Who the hell plays Solemn Judgment? I mean, I played. It's a good card. <sighs> Freaking frick in the. <laughs> Why we don't say cuss words on this stream? So I can use King of the Swamp to search out polymerization and uh, uh, go into danger. <laughs> um. And then he usually, he'll just use other cards to destroy my shit. Might as well. You should totally surrender. I'm not going to surrender. Never surrender. I'm going to... Wait. I can destroy more cards if I do this first. First, let me check. What is the defense points of Jack's Knight? Oh, I can't believe he had two negates. A thousand? Okay. I can do this first. I can um, have him destroy this card. It'll go down to 1500. Have him destroy Jack's Knight. Main phase two. Activate Polymerization. Oh, I can go into Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That's better, actually. <laughs> I'll do that. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Because if he destroys Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, then it wipes his, his field. I bet you've never seen someone hard go into this. Uh, let's per wait. To one special summon monster your opponent controls? Oh, cool. But it's only until the end phase. So it's kind of useless. I can't believe I drew into the one card I needed, but my opponent had a gosh darn freaking solemn judgment face down, which stopped all my plays. 
and they they can just do it again. They have their combo good to go. The only way they can out me though is if they use something else though. If they bring out the Jack's Knight combo again, I'm good to go because I have a 2800 attack monster that's a Raigeki on destruction. They got nothing. They do have a card that can uh, discard in order to destroy all my cards. But then it will get destroyed due to the effect of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. <gasps> nothing? Hello, Cafe Fico. <gasps> is that Cafe Fico? Is it the Cafe Fico? Okay, this is definitely not a good draw. Uh, I'll destroy this card so they can't use another Jax Knight. Wait, did I miss a Cafe Fico message? I don't think so. No one expects the Solemn Judgment. Not especially after they just used Ash Blossom. Two negates. I was so close to cinching a win. Although it looks like my opponent doesn't have anything to deal with Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> this is uh, going pretty well, I guess. Ooh, I could actually play this card in order to negate my opponent's shit. Ooh, should I do that? All of their cards have more than 900 attack. Yeah, so somebody in that card in attack position is only there to stop their spells. I think I'll do that. That sounds funny. Yeah, another Queen's Knight. They have to summon a monster in attack position if they want to stop my big brain. He's basically a negate for a spell card. And my opponent uses spell cards to do all of their plays. So they have to destroy it first if they want to do it, so they're going to give up their battle phase if they if they do have something. Magic 8 ball, top deck, Fusion Destiny. Fusion Destiny wouldn't do anything because I don't have any targets for it anymore. Because I have the Celestial in the graveyard. Thanks for the sub, Purple Strife. Oh, he's doing it. He's putting it into attack position. You fool. You've fallen for my trap. The trap of having an attack position monster that I can attack into for a little bit of damage. <clears throat> Actually, I would rather they not do that so I could normal summon Zinitron. To have more damage on board. <gasps> I think they destroyed it because they want to use a spell card? Did they draw into a spell card? No? Oh. I think I know what card that is. It's not a threat. Oh, now you draw Makuratai. Fusion deployment. I can just get another one. I could get another one, or I can go into Zombra the Dark. <laughs> this works too. And then I can normal summon Zinitron. <gasps> yeah, Zinitron. Basically using it as tribute fodder. I'm pretty sure 2200 attack is enough to beat over that card. And then 2800. Now I have a card that can actually attack directly and doesn't lose attack every time it destroys something by battle. And it has a graveyard effect to protect my back row stuff. All he does is return himself to the hand. Raigeki incoming. A Raigeki would definitely um, allow them to come back, that's for sure. But look, he only has 700 life points left, and I have two high attack monsters on the field. This is basically game over. I can't believe they're playing the Arcana Knights. Well, they're a good engine. He probably just hasn't drawn any of the cards to use the engine for. Yeah, draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. So that my... Oh wait, these are both like Dark Dragons, aren't they? Oh my god. Joker's straight, do they have the combo? If they have the combo, Venom Fusion Dragon is still going to destroy it afterwards. Super Poly, oh no. Oh, I didn't use Super Poly to bring this out. I brought it out with Polymerization, normal. Oh, they might just be doing this just to get three monsters on the field to protect themselves, now that I think about it. 
because they put one into defense position. And they wouldn't do that unless they were scared. But they have to normal summon the king in order to get its effect. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? This is some classic plays. He didn't use it? <laughs> he didn't want a normal summon attack position. <laughs> he used that card just to... I mean, guess I guess it summons a card from the deck for two cards in your hand and you just give them back anyway. I've only done Super Poly once against Megalith Sage. Oh, I get Super Poly like all the time. I've used it like a million times in this event. <gasps> If I draw another monster, I win! Jack's Knight, he's just gonna come back to his hand. Joker's Knight, I mean. Come on, just give me a Zombra of the Dark or a Fusion Deployment. And I win! I got this! Joker's straight. He's just gonna return another card. He's waiting to draw Raigaki. <laughs> I guess that's one way. He has no other support. He used up all of his support cards. Ooh. Amazement ticket. Add an amazement card from your deck to your hand. However, the only card I can add is one I can't really use. I think I would be better off using this during my opponent's turn in order to get the trap card. So I can have some kind of, like, protection. So it looks like I'm not winning this turn. But I should have a little bit of protection at the very least. I'd much rather have drawn a monster card. True Draco event. I haven't gone against True Draco a single time today, even though I built my deck specifically to counter it. Or at least, not to counter it, but to at least have a favorable matchup. I can love Super Poly. Me too. Joker's straight. I'll use this now. It says I can activate it this turn, I believe. So we set this card, basically Book of Moon, which is active this turn. Since I don't have an amazement card to turn it into a monster negate. Why are you still here? It's because I'm trying my best to defeat this Joker's straight deck, which is... It stopped my plays, man. I was so close to Last Warrior winning it for me. Honestly, if I had gone out Last Warrior, I probably would have been stalled out even harder than this. He summoned one monster and that's it? He's doing that again? Third match today, we're against True Draco. <laughs> I haven't gone against a single one. I wanted to go against True Draco. I'm playing Triple Waking the Dragon. Wait, Monster Reborn? I don't think I have anything dangerous in my graveyard. I don't think he has anything dangerous in his graveyard. I think this is fine. Yeah. Like, the strongest monsters are currently on the field. So, he's gonna bring out that card. I think he's just bringing it out for just extra protection. He's going to bring out a god card. I mean, if he does, I can flip it face down. Now, the thing is, he could have brought this card out normally if he just did the combo. He's just doing this to stall. He's literally just using Monster Reborn to stall out a little bit longer. Because I'll no longer win if I just draw into any monster now. I need to draw into something good. Actually, if I draw into the Amazement monster, I'll win. Because then I can just destroy his field. Come on, give me the amazement monster. I have it set up. And that recycle. Yeah, he can infinitely like recycle his cards. Actually, I don't think he can infinitely recycle it, can he? He returns that. And then he adds that back to his hand. No, I guess he can infinitely recycle them. Stall for summon achievement. I got this. King of the Swamp. Um, he's not strong enough, unfortunately. He only has 1,100 attack. Hmm. I mean, 500 attack, and the face down card has at least 1,000 defense. So I'll just set it on the field and destroy their shit. 
I'll get rid of that one because it's a combo extender. And at least if I draw into one of the high level ones, I can tribute summon again, like with Zinatron. The discard one Joker Knight that recycles itself. Yeah, they can all recycle themselves over and over. Mr. Logs, I believe there's an alpaca in chat that should be VIP. Wait, there's an alpaca in chat that's VIP? What? You mean Cafe Fico? I don't see him in chat. I think I saw him a little bit earlier. Oh no. Lightning Storm or Regeki. I just am hoping I draw into a usable monster. I mean, I could attack with King of the Swamp if he just like sets one monster for 400 big damage. Joker's Knight. Oh, he's actually going to summon this card for once. <gasps> Is he going to put it into attack position? Don't give me VIP. What will I use my points on then? For that sweet, sweet Game of Thrones ASMR. <laughs> How's life going on the moon for you? It's excellent. <gasps> you put it into attack position. Did he finally give up? Or does he have an honest in his hand? Face cam? Okay, we can have the face cam for the killing blow. <gasps> I did it. I win. I've activated a trap card. I can bring out the amazement administrator and then blow up all of his cards. It's bait? Doesn't matter because I have my amazement. Unless he activates Solemn Judgment. What are the chances he's going to use Solemn Judgment like? If he does, then I win. Joker's Wild during the main or battle phase and a spell card from your deck to the grave that specifically lists Jax Knights, King's Knight, or Jax Knights. This effect becomes that effect. Wait, which effect is he becoming? Oh, the fusion. Um, well that could be bad if he uses King's Knight. It could be bad. I could just crash Venom Fusion Dragon. This card's name becomes the monster's original name and replaces effect with that monster's original effects. If this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all of your opponent's special summoned monsters. Starving Venom can kill the thing? He can if he crashes into it. Steel Knight. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Yes, I would like to activate the effect of Administrator. Who has his own summon animation. Yay! Okay, and then... Once per turn, when a card effect is activated that targets this card, quick effect, you can negate the effect, and if you do, destroy one card in the field. If this card was fusion summoned, using only materials on the field as materials, it can make a second attack. Once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster, during damage calculation, quick effect, you can banish one spell card from your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to half its current defense. So I need to destroy this card. So let me activate my amazement card, banish this from the graveyard, we'll select this, he'll negate the effect, and then destroy something, and if he destroys Venom Fusion Dragon, then he gets destroyed. Your opponent has activated the effect of a card, would you like to activate the effect of a card? No, I'm good. Okay, what card are you going to destroy? You can destroy anything on the field. It is your own prerogative. Actually, now that I think about it, I could just have attacked into him. <laughs> Wait, is the effect once per turn? It is! Yay, now I have his effect! Okay, I think I made a mistake. You can just copy his effect and then die. Well, if I copy the effect, then he would have been able to do the effect anyway. What I didn't account for was the fact that I could just destroy it by battle. But also, he does have a battle-related effect. I think 
that was factored into it. That's why I went with this course. Ooh, would you like to activate the effect of a card? Oh, I can do it too! We both have the effect. Whoa, I have a higher defense. I gained a thousand, and you only gained 800, idiot! <laughs> I forgot that I gained his effect. Oh my god. <laughs> so the effect is banish a spell, and then you gain attack equal to half of your defense. So my defense was 2,000 and his was only 1,600. And I had 100 more attack in the first place. It's returning it to add the card back to your hand. Can't you attack twice? No. Wait, could I? Could I have attacked twice? I think I can because he was brought out using monsters on the field as his materials. Like, I met the conditions for I don't know how that works. You couldn't have? I didn't even try. Oh no, he's bringing out the cards again. A 30 minute game? That sounds about right. It's an epic duel between two pro Yu-Gi-Oh duelists. What are you gonna do about it? Turn 18, he only has 400 life points left. I'm so close to pulling off a win. Remind me of the Yu-Gi-Oh meta where the game lasts for 10 plus turns. It's because my deck refuses to let me draw into a usable monster. If I just draw into Zombra the Dark, then all of my problems are solved. You can still surrender, I'm just throwing it out there. Why would I surrender when I'm invested so much into this? They're using King's Knight again? World's slowest mill deck. I know, right? I think he's milled himself more than I have. Turn 18, is he going to use that, that trap card again in order to go into another fusion summon? All of this for 50 gems? It's not about it's not about the gems, it's about sending a message. Oh, he normal summoned Dasher? Once per turn, you contribute one other monster. This card gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn? Oh my god, no way. That allows him to beat over my monsters. <laughs> 3100 attack. <laughs> no! He can beat over Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, and since he was normal summoned, he won't get popped. Yeah, normal summon Dasher. Oh, he went for Zinatron! Are you crazy? This is only until the end of your turn. Do you have some way to use the card? Oh, it goes to defense position afterwards. Oh, I forgot about that. He, he hit the wrong card. He went for Zinitron instead of the, the one he should have went for. Which is going to buy him another turn. And then he gets Jack Knight back again. Come on, give me something usable. Give me Zombra the Dark. If I draw Zombra the Dark, I might be able to do this. They do have that trap card again. Assuming they have another fusion. Yeah, they keep just getting all their cards back. These plays are so confusing. I, I'm, I've just been top decking this whole time and my opponent is just recurring advantage like crazy. Another amazement. I can't use this card. Not yet. Ooh, I could copy the effect of Dasher in order to tribute my card for a thousand attack boost. But what would be the point in that? I'll just destroy Dasher instead. Was that a little load screen? Joker straight's actually infinite? Yeah, they keep recurring their resources like crazy. Joker's Wild? Even Joker's Wild recurs itself. 
What did he send? Was it the fusion spell card again? Yeah. Fusion summon one light warrior fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as materials. He did put back that one card, so he has it again. Deck beats DPE with one card. Can't win against normal summons. He got rid of it again. I can't copy his effect again because that counts as a targeted effect. Conqueror Star. With this card's fusion summoned, you can add a level 5 warrior monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use his effect once per turn. <gasps> Trap card was activated. I can bring out my amazement! Yay, and I have a trap card in the graveyard. Uh, you can only use effect once per turn. Once per turn, you can discard any number of cards. This card gains 200 attack for each card discarded. Once per battle, during damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster with a lower level, quick effect, you can make that monster's attack zero during damage calculation only. Continue the attack? Yeah, we'll redirect onto Queen's Knight. Okay, and then during the main phase two, I'll use this guy. Wait. A fusion summon, you destroy all summon. Once per turn. Ooh, that would be a nice effect to copy if you had used the effect a little bit earlier. I'm gonna pop it now while I have the chance. Banish the amazement. Target destroy. Infinitely recycling their stupid Joker's Wild is annoying. Why is it that they reset the resources back to their deck in order to recur their card to use it again? Because of that, my opponent has just been at a complete card advantage, even though I keep destroying his field every turn. Waiting for Raigeki? Yeah, and they'll get it eventually, because they keep going like plus two every turn. Man, the recursion... The recur ability of this deck is insane. Just 400 more damage. I didn't think... If he just stops going into big ol' fusion monsters... Yeah, he returned it again. He can just use it. I think he only has one more fusion left. If I can just get rid of one more fusion, then I have King of the Swamp to, to push for game for that last 500. This deck is perfect for farming summons. I mean, if I just drew any of my good cards... It wouldn't really matter. How is he at a plus five? <laughs> I destroy his deck every turn and he's all he's at a card advantage over me. Oh my god. Joker straight again. Turn twenty and he has uh six cards in his hand. He's literally two sparks away from death. If he just stops summoning monsters for one turn, I can attack over him with, with King of the Swamp. He does have the fusions in the grave, right? He doesn't recur those? Thank God. He should only have one more of those left. Come on, let me draw into one of my monsters. Just draw into Fire Sorcerer. Wait, he summoned the monsters in attack position? Is he that confident that he'll be able to use them? Oh no, he has something in his hand. I don't know what this effect does. Select a monster to equip? Um. Okay. I can select him. It doesn't really matter because... Oh, I probably should have saved that. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card. I wish I could swap that over to my Amazement card. He special summoned a monster. He has three cards in the field. I just saw something light up and I was like, hey, I can use it. He's never lived this long to actually do anything. What up? Hey, Poppy. What is he doing in the grave? I don't know what he's doing. What did he activate? Um...
You can discard one card, destroy all cards in the field. You can send one from your hand or go to the graveyard. Spell some of this card. This card gains fighter attack for each combined monsters in both players' hands. You can discard one card, destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls of the same type as this card. Activate Venom Swamp to destroy his card. And hopefully they don't have any other cards they can use. <gasps> Come on, King of the Swamp for game? Is it over? No, they have this card. They have their damn trap card which lets them use one of their spell effects. And all of them let them summon monsters. It's that fusion again. And then Joker's straight, they're gonna get that back too. Joker's straight, Joker's wild. Release us from our agony. If I get the amazement card, I might be able to do something. Waking the dragon. Uh, I'll set it. You think they can destroy my back row? <laughs> I'll flip summon King of the Swamp and then try to attack for Gabe, even though I know I can't because of his trap card. I just have to rely on Waking the Dragon, I guess. You think Waking the Dragon can win this for me? No, he doesn't have, but well, he might have back row removal. I have no, I have no idea. Joker's Wild. There's a Duologs. Is it over? No, of course it's not over. They have Joker's Wild. They're going to summon a whole bunch of cards. <gasps> oh, I'm so screwed. They're going to use Joker's Straight to summon three cards. They're going to send Joker's Straight to the grave to activate it. Oh, man. Both Joker's Wild and Joker's Straight recycling themselves every turn. And not being able to draw anything to push. <laughs> That's uh, That was really annoying. Do you know the definition of insanity? Yeah, they're going to summon all their cards. Would you like to replay the attack? No, I'm good. Imagine losing to Poker Brick. He, he went plus three every turn. He just like stalled out with uh, the three cards on the field every turn while not losing advantage while doing it. It's all because he negated my two effects at the very beginning. Well, I can still win this if he just destroys Waking the Dragon. What are the chances he has a way to destroy Waking the Dragon? Might not lose. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he just goes plus three every turn. I'm not sure why I'm surprised by that. Wait. Joker straight is not a hard once per turn. No, it is. Target. Resolution. Return. Reveal hand. Yeah. You just added that back. You know, you just add back the normal three cards. It is trap card. Yeah, he has three cards that all add themselves back every turn. Oh my god, he had another fusion. He was playing three of them this whole time. The only way I can win this is if he destroys my back row. <laughs> have you used all your super polys? No, I haven't drawn into any of them. Dude, I could have won if I had just drawn into Zombra the Dark this whole time. Last warrior. No. For this, I would need to go into my Eldritch card. This is GG. It probably is because he's not going to destroy my back row. Six case Orias. He's going to special summon that card from his hand. The comeback is crazy. The trap card, in order for it to return itself to the hand, also resets the, the fusions. Oh my god. Literally a dual comeback out of the anime. <laughs> yeah, stall for 20 turns until he eventually out-resources me. Yugi wins! Oh man. 
I'm so dead. How long was this duel? Like 45 minutes? Where were all of his other negates? Did he literally draw all of his negates in his opening hand that he has in the deck and then nothing else for the rest of the duel? I can't believe I stalled with the Venom Fusion Dragon for that long. I have to look at his, his deck. Let's see this deck. Yep. That's all he had. Those were his only two negates. He didn't have any others. <laughs> You've gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> his whole deck was just the engine and nothing else. Oh my god. His only two negates. And he had both of them in his starting hand and he used them in order to stop Last Warrior. I mean, the thing is, he also had Raigeki and Lightning Star, which could have helped him. I think he used Mirror Force once, right? I believe he used Mirror Force as well. Really surprised he didn't draw the Instant Fusion. I mean, with how long he's stalled, I'm surprised too. During the mainer battle phase, send a spell card from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists all the King's Knight, King's Knight, Jack's Knight's cards. This effect becomes that effect during your end phase. This card's in your graveyard. You can target a light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle into your deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. <laughs> Joker's Wild and Joker's Straight. These two cards coming back every turn just allowed him to... Uh, to survive. If I look at my deck, look at all these wins before I finally occurred a loss. If I look at my deck and I want to see what could I have drawn in order to not lose, um, let's see here. If I had drawn Zombra the Dark or Fusion Deployment, that would have probably did it. That's all I needed. Before he drew the trap card, which allowed him to fusion summon every turn. If I had just drawn one of these two cards, that would have did it. So would have... Um, the Amazement was nice, but he needs another card in order to actually hit the field. I, I totally screwed up, though, with the activation of his effect. I could have used it in order to stop one of his cards, but... I... I, uh, I forgot how his effect worked. Makura Kitai. That one would have worked, too. I didn't take his deck seriously at first, so I made a whole bunch of bad plays at the start. Which he definitely got really lucky and was able to capitalize on until eventually I was just screwed in top decking while he was going plus three every turn. Realistically, you only have four trap cards? Yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to trigger the effect. Maybe I should run more fusion reserves. And just ditch called by the grave. Now this is for DPE. This is really good for that. Forbidden Lance would have been nice to have. Only nice to have, not really necessary. Zinna Dragon was useless because he never had... I don't think he had back row destruction, like, at all. So Waking the Dragon was just a pure dead draw there. Um, oh well. I gotta go. I'm like 30 minutes over time because it was the longest duel in the world. Who else is streaming right now? No one? Oh, <gasps> Whoa, Mogu is... I can sleep now. Only Lightning Storm. Just run 4-2 cards a deck. Answer, you're gonna mess with the extra deck. If I had just drawn Zombra, I could have won. Where are your droplets? What do you need droplets for in the fusion event? You're not going against Herald. Okay, we will go over to... Wow, Mogu has a lot of people watching her right now. We're going to go over to Mogu. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Someone claimed VIP? Well, I can just refund that. And do it later. Or do it later. It's not like I can't see it anymore, you know?